What's up, what's up, real MVPs, Ricky Widmer here, and I know what you guys are thinking. Your guys are like, wait, it's Thursday at two o'clock. I usually don't see a video from Ricky. The thumbnail had a blue background, so it should be Brandon's, that's what I think, but I see Ricky in the thumbnail, and now I'm seeing Ricky in the video. What is going on? Well. Brandon is not here this week. He is on yeah. vacation. He could be dead. I hope he's not dead because, you know, that would make me very sad. And I love Brandon very much and I wouldn't want him to be dead. However, he is pulling a Brock Lesnar, not showing up for this show. I don't know where he is. I hope he's having a good time wherever he's on vacation. But Brandon was like, hey, Ricky, can you uh, take over the show this week? And I was like, yeah, sure. I'll figure out something to talk about. And then I'm like, you know what? I could kind of do what Brandon does. I can talk about the Manny Machado trade. You guys don't want to hear about that. I could also talk about the NBA. Should they go to a 16-team playoff? You guys don't want to. Or a 16, 1 through 16 playoff. You guys don't want to hear about that. What you guys really want to hear about, and what I, this is kind of a venting kind of video for me, because we literally have nothing on this channel for me to get this kind of pent-up frustration that I have out. So that's what I'm going to use this for. I'm going to talk a little WWE on that's what I think this week. And mainly the topic of this one is what the hell is the WWE doing with Asuka right now? Because just to set the table a little bit in case you guys have forgotten. So Asuka, the Empress of Tomorrow, which I think that name is completely pointless right now and stupid, yet they continue to say it like it means something at this point. So she had the the win streak. She was win or loseless, undefeated basically, is what I'm trying to say if words can come out of my ma mouth right. Then WrestleMania happens. She goes up against Charlotte Flair for the, uh, the Raw Women's Champion SmackDown, the Women's Championship. She loses. Basically, she loses. All right, the streak ends. I remember sitting in Dave's living room with Dave, Sean, and myself going, wow, didn't expect that to happen, but I'm okay with it. Then she gets traded to SmackDown and the shakeup. They kind of build some momentum for her. All right, she wins a six-person tag team. I believe there was the 10-person tag team in between WrestleMania and and Money in the Bank. Oh, I forgot to say, before WrestleMania, they had her win the Royal Rumble, which is why she was able to challenge Charlotte Flair for the Women's Championship. So she loses that, they build up some momentum on SmackDown, and they have her at Money in the Bank going up against Carmella, who I completely despise, but that is just because of her character and how good of a heel she is. It is nothing against Carmella at all. I just hate her and she plays her character very well and she brings the emotion out in me whenever I see her. So Money in the Bank, I'm thinking, great. This is where they're going to give it to Asuka. They are basically, you know, Carmella to, used her Money in the Bank, cashed in on Charlotte. She was able to get the title from Charlotte Flair. Now Asuka's gonna win it. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking maybe Asuka takes a championship and all right, she is now a champion now. The Empress of Tomorrow has the belt around her waist like most people and myself, I know I was one of them, wanted it. And then she loses money in the bank. James Elworth comes out and it's like, what, what, why? Why are we doing this? With me, I was thinking, and I know the argument of like, never come up with perfect matches, because whatever you come up with in your head is always gonna be better than what they do on TV. Just ride with what's going on. But for me, I was sitting there going, why are you doing this? Have Asuka win the title at Money in the Bank, and then if you wanted to do exactly what you did at Money in the Bank, do it on SmackDown Live that next Tuesday. And I know what some people are thinking, but the shock value of that, have it on a pay-per-view because then it gets people, whoa, what's going on? And it gets people talking about the pay-per-view, which you have a shock there. Maybe someone else checks out and buys the WWE Network or cashes into it to get the next pay-per-view. I get that part, but I thought it was stupid. Have Asuka win it, and then if you want Carmelo to get it back, do the Ellsworth thing that you exactly did. Do that on SmackDown Live. Then we have her at Extreme Rules 
going back up against Carmella. This time Ellsworth is going to be in a cage because we don't want him to interfere. We all knew he was going to interfere. We knew something was going to happen. Carmella retained. And I just don't understand what they're doing. Basically, she had the streak. Now she can't win on a pay-per-view. But then they have her on just normal SmackDown. And she wins and wins and wins even when her tag team is going up like the six person and 10 person tag teams Carmella was on the other side when she went up against Ellsworth in the two matches before this last pay-per-view extreme rules she beat Ellsworth so for me I am completely frustrated with what they are doing with Asuka now because from what it looks like now to me Asuka's kind of done with the championship like you just watched this last week on SmackDown, Becky Lynch was like, hey, you know what? I deserve a title bout. What if Becky Balboa got a title shot again against Carmella? And then you got Carmella like, I'll fight her on next Tuesday, but I ain't fighting her for this belt. And then Paige is like, well, yeah, you kind of are because if Becky beats you next week, you guys will have a match at SummerSlam, which I'm going to put my money on. Carmella is going to lose on Tuesday and her and Becky Lynch are going to have a championship match at SummerSlam. So, like, bringing this back to Asuka, I know that was a lot of kind of recap to where we are now. What the hell are they doing with Asuka? Like, they tried to do the whole championship thing. I thought they were maybe going to go back and forth with her and Charlotte Flair a bit. They didn't do that. They did it with her and Carmella, but... She lost twice on pay-per-views and then completely won on SmackDown, and now she's not even in the running for the title. So, I mean, to me, I, I am really questioning where Asuka goes from here because Becky Lynch is kind of looks like it's taking her spot for the title. Does Asuka now become that kind of spot where Becky Lynch was kind of in, where it's like, hey, I'm going to basically face people like the Iconics and basically like how we're seeing Ember Moon on Raw where she's going up against the Riot Squad without Ruby Riot every week. And I just, I feel like this was poor planning and poor writing by WWE. They had such a great opportunity to make Asuka something and they could have still had her lose the streak and still build her up to something. I feel like they had this opportunity with Asuka they completely just let it and go away like a balloon that basically is losing all of its air. And I really don't know where they go next with Asuka because they've completely kind of taken that balloon I was just talking about and squished all the air out of it. So this is something, this is where I actually turn it on to you guys. What do you guys think? Where do they go here from Asuka what the hell are they gonna do with Asuka because on the other side I'm kind of in a rough situation because I like what they're doing with Becky Lynch right now I like that she's getting a title match per se she's got to win on Tuesday but getting the opportunity because I thought she might have been her and Alexa were the two I thought that were probably gonna win the money in the bank match for the women and when both of them went up the ladder I was like oh man these are the two that I really want to win it. But what do you think they're going to do from Asuka from here? Does she get another championship kind of shot at things? Are they going to let Becky win it from Carmella? Then Asuka challenges Becky, and then that's where Asuka tries to take the championship back. Let me know what you think down below in that comment section. What is the WWE going to do with Asuka, and what are your thoughts on what they have done for Asuka so far since WrestleMania all the way to where we're at right now. But I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Brandon, I'm going to do the Kurt Angle thing. You better show up next week or else we might have to strip you of that's what I think with Brandon Swanson. So Brandon better be here next week in this chair talking to you guys. But thank you guys for kind of hearing me rant and kind of give my two cents a little bit about Asuka and the WWE. Thank you guys for watching and as always, have a good day everybody.